Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you two different ways you can create meeting agendas in Microsoft Teams. The conventional way and the better way. To create a meeting agenda, first I need a meeting. So let's go to calendar and look at all the meetings I have. I can either pick an empty time slot or create a new meeting. So let's pick the time slot around two on a Wednesday. And let's call this one a social media meeting. And let's make it weekly. Let's add some people. So that's Adele and Lee and Alex. And starts at two and is at half past two. And sure, let's call, make this a weekly meeting on Wednesdays and for a month. Let's save it. And I can assign a channel to this meeting, a location and some details. And the most important part, the reason you're all here, the agenda. And it's all very straightforward, right? I can add some topics, so topic one, topic two, and uh, topic three, sure. And let's put some meeting notes. And note one. Note two is especially important. You gotta watch out for note two. And let's put some tasks, right? So, surveys, sure. Let's assign it to Adele. She has three days for this. And don't forget to do this. Let's grant access to Adele. And the meeting looks all good. So let's send it to everyone. And once I click this, as you can see, it pops up in my calendar now. So the meeting is there. And if you can see those little cycling arrows, that means it's going to be repeating itself every week. All right, so join. Join now. And here we are in the meeting. Uh, now that I'm here, if I click the notes section, you can see all the nifty little things we did. All right, the topics, the meeting notes, everything. That's the meeting agenda we created, all right? And we can add some more during the meeting. We can change it up. We can add some new tasks. And once it's all done, we can just click leave and be done with the meeting. And if, you, if we want to save this agenda or see it later, just click the meeting, enlarge it, and if I go down and click that notes section here and just see all my notes. That's about it for the conventional way. But there has to be a better way. Well, there is. With the sheer amount of meetings we all go through day in and day out, we could all use something a little extra when it comes to meeting agendas. Let me show you how you can make the most out of your meetings. Now, let's do the very same thing, but in Team Flick. And guys, the difference is going to be night and day. So let's just go to Team Flick. And if you don't have this icon, you can just go to Apps and download Team Flick and just pin it on that left bar. And now that I'm here, as you can see, the dashboard has everything I need. And here are my meetings. Let's view them all. And I'm going to see the meetings I have today or the upcoming meetings. And if I click past, here are all my past meetings. But let's just go to today and upcoming and pick one. So weekly check in with Adele, it's on Fridays. Just look at all this detail. Here are all the dates that this meeting is gonna recur in. And I can click show more to see more dates. And here are all the resources and tips I can use in this meeting. And I can expand and just add them in or filter them. Here are the talking points. But I can do a bit more with these talking points. Let's add a talking point. And talking point three. I can add it. And here I can hide this talking point. Or I can make this a recurring talking point. So this is going to be a talking point every Friday. 
or just delete it. And on the right hand side, there are the talking point suggestions. And I can just add these using the plus button. There it is. Here are the tasks. And I can just create a new task or give her some feedback. I can share some notes with her or just keep some private notes for myself. And on the right hand side, you can see Adele's goals and her goal progression and her tasks and her latest reviews. So it's all very comprehensive. And if that's all set, I can just click join. Let's join in. And here we are. Now this is the notes section from before, but if I go to apps and just click team flect and press save, would you look at that? Look at all that cool stuff I have on the right side. All right, all the talking points. Again, I can add them during the meeting, see or add new tasks during the meeting, see my notes. And here I can click see goals and see all of Adele's goals and her active and past goals, how she's on track. And once I'm done, I can just click leave and be done with it. And I can click here to send a summary. Let's cancel on that one. And to create a new meeting, I can just click new one on one and schedule a new meeting right there. So as you can see, it's all much simpler if you're using Team Flight. That brings us to the end of this video. Did you find it helpful? What else do you want to learn about Microsoft Teams? Or do you simply want to see more of the dog? Just let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this and click the link in the description to schedule your free demo with Team Flight. Team Flight. Build teams that deliver.